today let us discuss about sensory needs of children with autism and their management sensory processing is the way brain receives organizes and responds to a sensory stimuli from one's body or external environment efficient sensory processing helps in the development of different skills first physical skills that includes stamina muscle tone gross motor and fine motor activities and coordination skills second praxis skills it is the ability to plan and execute the multiple steps activities third cognitive skills which includes attention creative thinking learning visual spatial skills auditory language skills fourth one is social emotional skills that is understanding boundaries understanding others feeling and feeling safe sensory processing disorder can be three type one sensory modulation disorder two sensory based motor disorder three sensory discrimination disorder sensory modulation disorder it is the difficulty in regulating responses of sensory stimulus autistic children shows different responses to the stimuli in sensory modulation disorder one is sensory over responsive second sensory under responsive third sensory seeking behaviors sensory over responsive is the too much response or too fast response to a stimuli sensory under responsive is less intensive response to the sensory stimuli sensory seeking behaviors it occurs when child doesn't satisfy with the sensory stimulus that they get and they seek more now let's see about different responses related to different sensory systems tactile issues over responsiveness to tactile stimuli can be withdrawing being touched avoid to eat certain food avoid to wear certain clothes avoid getting someone's hand messy tactile under responsiveness can be inability to differentiate different tactile stimuli prefers long sleeve dresses when it is hot short dresses when it is cold sensory seeking behaviors can be enjoying messy play enjoying being hugged or touched rubbing against wall or people enjoying rough play activity for tactile over responsiveness are finger painting coloring finding object from rice bag sand or floor foot play to feel the different textures activities for tactile under responsiveness are play do activities mixing color with shaving foam allow different textures activities for sensory seeking behaviors can be allowing them to feel the different textures clothes or toys or applying body lotion to extremities proprioceptive related issues proprioceptive over responsiveness places body in different strange position difficulty in manipulating small object dislike movement activities proprioceptive under responsiveness are clumsy and easy to fall craves for pushing pulling and pinching unaware of body position in space proprioceptive sensory seeking behaviors can be enjoying physical play crashing or bump into things activities for proprioceptive over responsiveness are obstacle course activity animal walking different yoga poses and outdoor walking okay. activities for proprioceptive under responsiveness are bed sheet wrapping joint compression crawling pushing or pulling weighted object for proprioceptive seeking children 
we can give different activities such as gardening, swimming and different sports activities. Auditory issues Auditory over responsiveness Children cry or get angry for certain noise Children covers their ear for certain noise Children likes to avoid noisy settings Auditory under responsiveness can be difficult to respond when his or her name is called Difficulty in academic skills Difficulty in spelling comprehension Auditory sensory seeking behaviors are making loud noises for noise sake or enjoying loud music and noises. Intervention for auditory over responsiveness are using headphones and earmuffs, making an environment quiet, listening light music. Activities for auditory under responsiveness are matching sound games, do actions for verbal commands. For sensory seeking behaviors, allow the child to play musical instruments and listening Mozart music or light music. Oral sensory issues, oral over responsivity, slow or insufficient chewing, gagging or vomiting, avoid brushing, avoid certain textured food, refusal or crying during meal time. Oral and responsiveness are inability to discriminate different tastes, drooling, unusual preference of tastes. Oral sensory seeking behaviors include eating non food objects such as pencils, furniture, rubber bands, etc., and keeping food in the mouth for a long time. Intervention for oral sensory issues. Activities for oral over responsiveness are blowing balloons and bubbles, introducing different textured food. Activities for under responsiveness are asking the child to taste and feel the food and identify the food and blowing whistle kit. Activity for oral seeking behaviors we can introduce different type of vessels, mouth organs and other chewy toys. And also you can use popsicles for licking and introduce nuts and crunchy fruit. Vestibular sensory issues. Vestibular over responsive can be fearful to hide or playground equipments, dislike movement activities or avoid climbing stairs or holding the rails while climbing up and down. Vestibular under responsive children shows poor sitting in the classroom, takes unsafe risk during play or difficulty to perform balance and coordination activities. Vestibular seeking behaviors are swinging, rocking and jumping a lot or running around aimlessly and enjoy fast and impulsive moments. Intervention for vestibular sensory issues. Activities for vestibular over responsive. Obstacle causing activity. Sitting on a swing or ball at low level. Activities for vestibular under responsiveness are movement break such as uh, skipping balance board activity and jumping on the trampoline. Activities for vestibular seekers are jogging around the house, allow safe play in park. Visual sensory processing issues, over responsiveness issues, covers eyes for bright light and sunlight, scared of moving object, avoid direct eye contact. Children shows under responsiveness such as difficulty to focusing on stable object or seems to unaware of people around the room or difficulty in writing. Sensory seeking behaviors shows staring at bright object and moving items, throwing or enjoying items fall. Intervention for visual sensory issues, over response, wear sunglasses or cap while going out, 
reduces distractive environment such as reducing prints labels and patterns activities for hypersensitivity visual schedules such as pictures color matching games board games and visual perceptual games activity for visual seekers prone on hammock swing or ball bouncing activities or other swing activities tossing the ball or throwing the ball at a target tapping the balloon in the air sensory processing issues related to praxis that are child shows clumsiness accident prone awkward body movements difficulty learning new task difficulty to learn sports and other new skills does not explore surroundings messy handwriting has difficulty to maintaining different body posture sensory processing issues that affect the children's academic skills children shows lack of interest in studies inattention and poor concentration in studies difficult to sit in a class for a period of time difficulty to hold writing tools difficulty in understanding the concept of being taught activities that helps to improve children academic skills that are visual cues break new task into smaller steps repetition of practicing new task motor planning activities multi sensory activities such as using sand or foam to form a letter do different actions and poses to commands general guidelines to follow at home that are create an environment organized predictable and structured consistent filled with visual cues and provide a safety environment to move around keep routines and possessions organized be consistent with rules and consequences post an activity schedule or activity calendar create specific routines discuss upcoming anticipated changes in the routine try to indirectly use your children's sensory preferences for fun rewards to help to avoid or handle the behavior introduce coloring and pattern writing to develop writing skills engage your child in physical activities such as walking running brain gym exercises yoga etc children can do tasks around the house such as making lemon juice and organizing a room folding clothes shopping and so on